I could do this all day, I could do this all night. What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make your thumbnails just like Rice Gums. So if we go in, into videos on Rice Gums channel, we can see that he uses a lot of colourful text. And he generally puts colour and then a white outline. Sometimes he uses like, like speech bubbles and emojis. So let's jump right into Photoshop. Then once you're in Photoshop, you want to hit new. You want to do 1280 by 720 which is the ideal size for thumbnails on YouTube so you don't get any black bars or anything. Then you want to hit create. Um, generally I just take away the extras, which are those blue bars. You didn't know how to get rid of those. Then I unlock the background usually. Let's say this car is kind of the main focus of the thumbnail. I'm going to drag that on, hit enter to place it. Then the first thing I'm going to do is get the paint tool. I'm going to set this to white. I'm going to set the hardness to about 75, got to rasterize, I think is how you pronounce it, the object. And then I might just increase the size a bit. So I'd recommend about, yeah, about 15. Then you want to zoom in and you just basically want to go kind of around your object with the paintbrush tool. So I'm going to speed through this really quickly. Um, messy job of that, but you guys can obviously do that a bit cleaner than what I've done. Increase the brush size to about, let's say, 100, no, about 200 right now. I'm going to set the hardness to zero. Actually, I'm going to set the hardness to 100 right now. And I'm going to go and grab a pink color, which is kind of what Rice Gum uses for most of his kind of the background. I'm going to create a new layer. Now I'm just going to go around the border of it without getting close to the car. Okay, so once you're kind of done like a rough outline, you want to zoom in a bit more. Maybe set the hardness to about 50. Then set the brush size to maybe about 40-ish. And then you want to do another kind of rough outline around it. Put a bit smaller and closer. Okay, so once you've finished kind of the second rough outline, you want to set the hardness to zero, about half the brush size again, and then you want to go back in and put the final touches on it. Maybe increase the brush size a tiny bit. Okay guys, so that's the pink layer done. Um, obviously, if you guys want to do this a bit cleaner, you can, but I just want to do it really fast for the demonstration of this video. Then, because you created a new layer, you can drop the opacity, so it does, you can still kind of see the background, what's going on, which is kind of what rice gum does. If you go over here, you can kind of still see the background in that orange. So, maybe drop the opacity to around 50-ish, so half. Okay, so now for the font. What you want to do, I'm going to call it my new car, so pretending I'm, this is my new car. Um, you want to download the font called, I think it's, you can pronounce it Babas or something, Babas, and then click the regular one. And then I'm just going to type my new, so I'm going to do it in white, because that's generally what Ricegum does. So my new car, and then set it, I'm going to set it to about... 200 but you guys will do whatever fits kind of your screen and then I'm going to put it above here so once you've done that you want to hit the text tool and you want to go to this tool here style arch and you want to lower the bend a bit probably to about plus 9 around plus 10 kind of but it doesn't really matter what you guys do you can play around with the horizontal distortion if you guys want to, but I'm going to leave it like that because it's kind of a front-on image. But if it's kind of taken sideways, you might want to do that. Center it between the car and the top of the image and then get Command A and then center it vertically. Okay, so once you've done that, you want to double click on the text and you want to go over to Gradient Overlay, which is generally what Ricegum does. Um, 
You can use anyone because he kind of switches it up with what he uses. But generally he uses something like this, the orange and yellow one, it puts your opacity at 100. Now you guys can do any of these, but usually Rice Gum uses angle, and but you guys can kind of choose whichever, it doesn't really matter, but Rice Gum usually uses angle, so I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to pull this up and do the drop shadow. So generally he does a black drop shadow, so you want to click make that black, then you want to kind of drop the spread a bit to about 69, the distance is keep it at zero, and then the size probably about 16, and then click OK. Then you want to get an emoji, so just go into your web browser and then search up um, car emoji or whatever emoji you want to use. Now the important thing is you find a, P um, a PNG, so one that has a translucent background like this with the checkers, that, that's how you know that it's translucent. And it's, yeah. Make sure you save it as a portable network graphics image, which is a PNG, and you want to import that, upscale that a bit, maybe do about that. Generally he puts it on a bit of an angle, and then I'm just going to put it in that gap, and then hit enter. So that's it for the rice gum tutorial guys, if you guys did enjoy be sure to drop a like, also comment YouTubers thumbnails, tutorials I should make, and if you want to see how I make, usually I make my thumbnails, then also drop a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.